Yes. Okay, so there's mainly girls, so I like aimed my speech more towards the girls. Sorry, guys. But I, I, that doesn't mean just like aim, like tune me out, because I want you to tell me how accurate I am after all of it's done. Um, I feel like a big problem in high school is girls getting played by guys. And if you ask a girl, like, why they get played so often, it's because you guys are douchebags and they're assholes and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm here to tell you that it's normally the girl's fault. Sorry about that. <laughs> so basically, what I'm going to do is teach you how to act like a lady and think like a man. OK, so there's two types of guys. Has, is there anybody like fishers in your fish? Yeah, OK. So the girl's fish. Okay. <laughs> Um, there's two reasons people normally fish. It's for the sports fish, and it's for the keepers. The sports fish are you get the you get the bite, you get the bite, and you're like getting this adrenaline rush, and as you're pulling it in, you're getting all excited. And when you get in, when you get the fish, you like maybe take a couple pictures, take a couple pictures with it, maybe just chug back a couple beers, you know, you have a little celebration, and then you throw it back in. Now when you get a keeper. You get the bite, you're feeling the adrenaline, you're rushing it all in, and you get it in. When you get the fish in, you take a couple of beers, take a couple pictures, just celebrate. But then you're gonna take that fish home and you're gonna mount it or whatever you do, but you're gonna you're gonna show it off. So I feel like that's like that's kind of like a simile towards what guys do for the most part. They get the adrenaline, try to keep it in, and then some like the keepers, they'll take them home with the source ships, they're just gonna throw them back in after they do what they want. Okay. So I have a story that's going to kind of help you understand more. Um, imagine there's this dude named Trent, and he's at a gym, and then he sees this girl named Erin. And she's over there, she's working out, doing on her treadmill, you know, doing her thing, and she's looking all good and sexy, you know, and he goes, he like is checking her out up and down, and she notices this, and she notices this, and she starts like giving him the little eyelashes and like smiling back and that makes it okay for him to go over. He goes over, talks to her, and he just goes up, he's like doing his little strut, you know like guys do. And he's like, he's like, damn shawty, you looking good. And he's like, I don't even know why you're on this treadmill because you don't even need to, you looking good. And she does, her, she like returns it with a like flirtatious little whatever she does, like checks him out. And then he's like, you know, I really gotta get back to my workout, but I would love to get to know you better. And he hands her her phone and she puts his, she puts his, her number in his phone. And then she like looks down and he's like, all right, Aaron, the down piece. And he walks over and does his little workout. Immediately as he's starting to do his workout again, he's trying to figure out ways of like how to change his workout routine so he never has to see her again after he taps that. And immediately he's labeled her in his head a sports fish. Now let's do it in contra contrast to this girl named Tiffany. She's doing her thing on the treadmill, he's looking at her up and down, and she notices this, but instead of like giving the flirtatious smile back, she walks, around, like she goes to the other side of the gym and does her thing, her treadmill, on the other side of the gym, and even like increases the intensity of her workout so she can get out of there sooner. Now he notices this, and as she's walking out of the gym, he abruptly ends his workout to like meet her at the door, and when he meets her at the door, he like, he's like, does the same little line that all guys do because they all use the same line. They're like, damn, shawty, you looking good. And then he, she's like, she like looks at him, he's polite, she says thank you, and then she keeps walking to her car. And as she's walking to her car, she's like walking really fast. He shouts out, he's like, he's like, damn, Miss Fast Walk, you got a name? And as she's like pulling into her car, opens the door, puts her sunglasses on, and walks away. She goes, and just starts driving away. She rolls on the window, and she goes, yeah, and it's not Miss Fast Walker, and I'm a whole lot more than Dappies, and she drives up. Now immediately, he has gone back to his workout, has his lifting weights, he's like trying to think of ways that he can like change his workout routine to try and get in match with her. And immediately in his head, he's labeled her a uh, keeper. I'm sorry, you just may have to point it right at it and hit the blank. Battery might be a little low. It gave me some trouble yesterday. There you go. Okay. So the moral of this is know your self worth. If you act slightly like a diva, then and you act a little bit disinterested, he's gonna wanna like he's gonna be more intrigued by you. If you're on the move and you have your own life ahead of you, then he's gonna be like, okay, I I kind of like this girl. If um you gotta always remember though, even if you acting you're acting a little slightly like 
the B word, I don't know if I can swear. But um Too late. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but you have to act still nice and you have to still be polite. However, if you act like Aaron and you question your self worth and you overuse your like natural sex appeal, and trust me girls, we are sexy, like guys need us, so if you overuse that though, then you're probably gonna get play. So in the end, like a lady, I think like Little golf player.